duechi na yenko yini we have a butterfly show when it here say butterfly show there you doing come your mouth crying mouth so they won't send me sir and no submissions in your ever so say a real man and see and then no eh see a topic no eh and i'm maybe some producers are the way we are disappointed oh because sometimes in the topics you got my major why i mean just say but uh you know it's a bit of wow a bit of wami and you know or they a buy yeah it was in me miss out say coin by now before so i'll be we can do with love uh, now I build it with self, and I say, what we know, Duffo, Munta, my pepe, our Christmas season, ye a moo. Ah, me didn't they are joining the in team, me were my guests too, back to air in studio. Abna, I will have say no, or join me in our studio, has say Maureen, a bed join me in our Zoom, in the entire Honey and Kojabwa from Christ on my bar, and better I guess they are true, my boy, my children, and so I have to see the beauty behind these names, you know that. na you didn't come on as it's just. Television, so um, Abna is in studio. Abna more cover original TV, so yeah, thank you. Maureen, so so a joining a zoom, and they see rekindling love and fostering generosity this festive season. Eh, uh, Henry, you could be so be your say. Uh, Maureen, you're welcome. Welcome to Arena Television. Thank you. Hey, today the thank beauty you, is beauty. So you look so beautiful. <laughs> wow. Ah, uh, your body is very, very beautiful. <laughs> and see, I see uh, Christmas is in the end. I'm not doing come on. And I'm missing. Oh, see, the door phone chain. I did put that. Oh, see, the clone can chain. It's oh, I feel so tough in age. Into a no, no. She's used to it. It's only when you come back, when you catch and say, "Oh, China, and your best friend is up to something." Yes, so she's used to that. Ah, no, no, me just say, "Sebi, aye, illiteracy, aye, you here, aye, upbringing." And I, I think before we even delve into the conversation itself, no, I'm not a person who won't make a crap. So, Papa, say, "Oh, no, no, I ain't no woman, no." Aside chop money, chop money, oh, you got age and age is stuck if ye. Nicknum come by and chain and say, Oh, a medophone, let me pay a nom, me hold biscuit in a me jane say, Will never jump home. In the matter, bro, a bean cedar. In the honors and nickel, you could work on a nickel money be beer. I yet toffy crown, but I'm a feeling you can after something. Wow, yes. I do so. Um. Because you see, be sane say look no no you sure so done here no. So be our done no you just naturally, naturally you give them a gift. You don't have to wait till Christmas or any festive season to give someone a gift. They call me my mom. Bible says God so loved the world that He gave. So you give relentlessly. You give, not being selfish. You give. You give your time. You give your money. And then you give gift. Yes, I'm sure outside of the marriage, he's probably giving gifts to other people. And if that is the case, then it's a problem. But I, I learned there are people naturally, they don't know how to give. No, it's not a natural thing. I refuse to under, accept uh, saying natural. That. Because I need to watch an idea anything. That person is always able and happy to receive a and gift. Again, I am to say, oh, I am to say, oh, I am to say, oh, I am to so you have and to teach them. Okay. But so, what did I say? You have, especially the Nippon Yukuna. So, Nimi, you may be because they be a entity, yeah, and I think cross the same, whatever it is, uh, you educate them. And Koye say, you are being. No, and Koye say, because Ono. Gold digger. No, but Ono no receives. He receives from the wife. It could be cooking, it could be time, it could be prayer. You're constantly receiving. So there shouldn't be a, a problem with you giving. giving. 
you're giving me money for the household and it's just your kind of responsibility. But you going the extra mile is actually telling me about my love language and how the relationship will be solidified based on love. It's a flag, like from the onset. So you can't tell me you want to marry me, you want to be with me, but you find it difficult to buy me a gift. A gift. Wow. What is this? You can create something okay. and still give. Okay. But like I'm saying, outside the context of the marriage, the person gives to someone else. Okay. It can be a guy friend, it can be a sister, it can be a mother. I don't think it be a fish swan, I'm going to give you a mom and mom. Is giving. Okay. Why can't you do that for your own wife? Wow. No, I mean. And then I think since I simply think of Ophi, because Ophi has no power to say no. You know what? Oh, you know what? Oh, mommy gift. Then I say, oh, to me, mommy gift. Because yeah, you should. It's natural. Me pacho ti asi. Ope o papa sem. Ope o mommy sem. Ope o ba sem. O do u kuno. Naturally, when I'm chrome now, who shares to be? I think this is going to look good on Mark. It's going to look good on Stephen. This will fit. This is the right size. So you give. You buy it for them. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Definitely. She's on point. Okay. First of all, love in itself, no, and what nature, the nature of love is selfless. The nature of love is selfless. Love wants to always please the other person. It's selfless. It's not about me, 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 what I feel like, what I want to do. What's that say? And you know, if you say, say, what do or spouse, the only way you can prove say, what do or spouse no, is by giving them something. And you can give either in cash or kind. You know, so there's really no excuse. If there is a, a spouse that all treats the then it means that first of all, that person has neglected to rekindle the love, you know. is not interested at all in making the relationship okay, work. Because let, let, no let, me, way... let me ask you this question. You just mentioned something. Um also Ayana and who here to rekindle love. So what do you mean? do you mean? Is there the reason? What does it mean for one to rekindle love? And who here, Papa, 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 is very important. If we don't rekindle the love, the relationship is going to get stale. It's going to get boring. It's going to get uninteresting. It's no longer exciting. And and no matter sometimes, and no sisana, then you find that. The individuals will start to say, Omosha Abonting, instead of trying to work on what they have, no, they will start to look outside, which, of course, we know always leads to problems. Whoa. So, rekindling love has to do with, uh, say, a couple. Now, it's very important as a couple, no, Omobeba into an agreement, say, yet, we acknowledge, say, say, yes, something about your relationship now. Um, ever say it's gonna fall apart, it's gonna get stale. And I always say is that if something gets stale and begin to have an odor, what's gonna happen is you're going to attract flies. And the Bible tells us that the devil is a lord of the flies. So you're going to attract the enemy. And the enemy is not gonna come himself. He's gonna come through people. He's gonna come through other men, other women. So if you do not rekindle your love, you know, in a marriage you are opening yourself up to all kinds of attacks. So it is very essential because, yeah, yeah, Nipa, we, you know, as human beings, we have the, the tendency to just slack after a while, worry, you know, while worrying for some years, you start to slack. You start to take your spouse for granted. You know, you start to not pay so much attention to them. In your manner, we are from the beginning, Emma was spouse, no door, you know, over here, Nephi. You are slacking in all those things. It's just human nature. In I was saying, you know, you see, you want to say, "Sunny, it's here. Sunny, your nature, it's here." Into we are going to make the conscious effort to work on our marriages, to work on our relationships, 
to rekindle, revive the relationship. We want to renew the relationship. We want to restore, you know, what is broken, what is lost. Maybe if your habits been at Goa, na miyema, my spouse, and iniji, sisiya, no, my slack, mi nyebium. We want to go back to all those things. We want to bring a fresh energy. Um, let's be real. First, I'm with Musha, and not, you didn't have children. Sisi Ankola Abim, maybe, let's say if there are children, right? Sisi Ankola Abim, you know, maybe you need to you know, find another way to bring some type of energy that's going to work for the two of you and that's going to bring a, a, a very meaningful connection, you know, and, and a much stronger intimacy. Thank so it's you. very essential to rekindle Thank the love. Thank you. Thank you, Warren. Um, um, this festive season, um, to rekindle your love with your partner, how will it affect the marriage and even in the year to come? So I would say this, to wait till a festive season to rekindle is late. Imagine people who do not know how to. In TV, I'm coming and no beauty, be no say, I need a fire brain. You so now, main chairman, do you say, you know what? I've done it as well. That kind of thing. Me, partner, I would say, you know, what are you telling the person? How is that attitude? And I say, kind gesture, no, how will it affect the marriage positively, even in the years to come? Okay, so let's let's backtrack. Say, our reno is savable mean that the two parties are still interested in working it out uh, then it is going to work the reason why i say that because one party can be interested in making the relationship work or willing to work in tbo the counselors bid them to make it work because the thing is any partner check it out no matter what gift you give they are not going to receive it no matter how respectful you become they are going to ignore you because only they are wanting to begin with already so to rekindle, I'll say you start with prayer. Okay. Because I think it's in Esther 2.15. The Bible says, everyone that looked on Esther, or Esther obtained favor. So sometimes you want to pray that whatever you're doing or whoever you're with, you should obtain favor from your husband. Okay. Because if you are, need that one thing. So start with the prayer and then start with the other gestures now, what kind of the gift, if the counselors can come in, if the situation is really bad. Because Nibuofu, what? Without an apology, maybe whatever gift you buy not, is not naturally. You know, Ghana for the brain. Mm -hmm. In some way, okay, we can relate. How? Naturally, trust me. Um, uh, in, in a typical Ghanaian home, they can't say I'm sorry. Not necessarily, I'm sorry. It's a norm. Say, say, obi o bonia o chifaso yenka sorry o kwa ba with this no na die off. See, in a that's typical wrong. Ghanaian home, that's what is happening. And the second thing is exchanging gifts. Mm -hmm. Trust me, it doesn't really happen in a typical Ghanaian home. Say, bro, nyasi, obi, ebao, oko obi fiye. No, kongu se, oma mounte Christmas trees, boxes, gugu asi, asi, na wen suwe. Osi, hey, again, so, biya de ne de beba, on the 25th, na na, eh, even, no. 24th uh, night, and you can 25th, you know. You bet on box, so be actually be the other day. A goo. As I make our single me, Nippon on who be that? On tea, I see. Yes, but with the crump, one of you say decoration, and the decorative feel okay, okay. So, in a typical Ghanaian home, there are some things that, trust me, it doesn't happen there. But you're talking about two different things. We're yes. talking about Christmas, and then we're talking about rekindling of your marriage. Yes, yes. So even if the gift or the Christmas tree is not even in perspective, it's not there, you should be able to build your relationship by saying, I'm sorry for offending me. Start from there. Because without an apology, no matter what you buy, the problem is still yeah, there. Meaningless. Exactly. At least from my perspective. Because I would rather say you best solve a problem. I'm not a different. <laughs> Mine, <laughs> I'm not your different. Say, I'm a man, I'm a man, Trust me. Oh, no. Oh, me, a sorry name. Bow, honey, as I want your letter. No, I can't sorry, no, man. But the, you mean that means that problem repeats itself. I know. <laughs> so that problem Maureen. never goes away. Maureen can talk about that problem, will still be there. Uh, Maureen. Hello. <laughs> yes. I hope so. Hello, hello. conversation. No. Oh yeah, I am. I'm, I'm really. So, see, I'm a producer. I'm now. Oh, I'm a producer. I'm intimate. I see. 
No, but <laughs> it's still no, Where you coming from, no, no, it's still the principle, though. <laughs> Maureen, uh, we know what it's going to happen. Ah, yes, it was with Nick. Oh, she's hey, not here. coming. <laughs> so, you see, the thing is, the, the, the reason why um, I understand what Abla is saying is that, first of all, I'm, I'm guessing that we are all people of God. Yes. And he is love. love. Yeah. And that is the nature, nature of love, period. Love gives. Love will say sorry. You know, love, you know, I, I know that you were asking, sir, what can we do to rekindle the, the marriage? No, love is selfless. Mm -hmm. Love will, when you go out, you're going to think of, you're going to see something. And it's going to make you want to say, sir, oh, if I buy this for my spouse, and any bed jeans, I'm trauma. That is simply the nature of love. It's actually uh, a defect in any human being. So when it was spouse, and you don't give them gifts, you don't apologize, you know, you are just there. There's no way there's going to be any meaningful and true connection. And Nuntinaya, there are so many issues in marriage, you know. I know mm -hmm. that in Africa, our background, our background was maybe in idolatry. But Sisiyan, we have embraced the gospel of Christ. Yes. And Christ, yeah, he is love. So why don't we take time to understand love. and gain mm. more understanding, more revelation of what love looks like? Love is not selfish. Love is kind. It's, it's that simple. Love is kind. Love is giving. My sister said that for God to love the world, he mm. gave. That is the ultimate expression of love. When you love, you give you give um, um affection you give emotionally you give support wow. you give in any way that god um has endowed you 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 share it when you love you give you see, know um if if uh, this this um festive time you know everybody first of all we understand christmas is a time where we human beings we humanity we received a significant gift from god God actually inconvenienced himself for yes, us, the, the creator of the whole universe. Or yeah, no, took our nature of dust, yeah, no, to come on this earth to to just to live 33 years and die for us. Wow. And you say you're a child of God. What's the way you're Christ you, don't want to give you are married. Oh. And you cannot think say Elsa was who emulates the way of life. Wow. So I sorry now for no one is saying who can sorry can but you don't have, it's just Maureen, lip service. You, you don't have tables, oh. life. You are shaking it's tables. Okay. You are shaking <laughs> tables this morning. It's oh. not, it's not, it's not an entity because... There are some homes that even men do not even give money for food. Chop money, it's men wrong. Are no or buy none or has so you see, we Africans, I always say that yeah, by Africans and by now, we are thought to endure. And now be quick kitchen now we say we see a baby now I could find up come and me say find up can go on a found us say now we are back you see so yeah yeah certain no yeah yeah training I'm a typical Ghanaian girl who grew up in a village so I was trained only being part and I said will be a year now for Buano while my wife and yes she or quite or beba eh one to be be a my wife you do my now to be my home you get it. So even me, that's why if oh yeah, me I'm a bit surprised because that was how I was brought up. So for me to even go and stand in front of my spouse or my husband or whoever say, I want a gift. Buy this for me. A bedding. So sabi on we winyan san twa ma mia. Not a set na yet no no. And so I'm gonna answer Abba. It's Ghana girls, Ghana women, Ghana everything, yes, yeah, yes, say. Or that they will be the one, or turn in sour when him. And another, me, me, sign your research. We are trying to say where a man's treasure is, his heart is there. So, so bear my team, me, trail with sour, or don't sign your manner. Trust me, with that investment, you know, he won't just let it go on no basa basa. But say, I did more quano about one. I will be be like what mm -hmm. makes him the man. That's another research I also mm -hmm. saw. So I don't know. Uh, I'm enjoying the conversation. Let me actually. say this: If both parties have a vision for the marriage, 
Because if you don't have a vision for it, I'll be treating it anyhow. Or ring Kindle, you will not apologize. You will not give gifts. You will just be there. Yeah. So what we need a Juma CCR to even support the homer. You're not even encouraged to go out there and look for jobs job. because you don't have a vision. Okay. This whole vision says same person in the in you know the way I'm person in member on be co school on be did on be say yeah yeah require same better you be in the KB the co hospital. Where is the vision for the marriage? And how, why did God put the two of you together? together? There is. I mean, if we look at Esther, Esther was put there before the king because of redemption for the whole people of Israel. It is say one warrior, sister. Well, we're so busy in your What is the purpose? Why is this particular man in coming my into my life? Is he going to help me as a destiny helper, or he's going to forestall what you're already doing in my life? It is a foundation. I rocky. You need to rekindle that. You go back to your source, God. Mm -hmm. Now there's a situation. How are you going to help me wow. so that I? <laughs> no, but when there's no vision, the people. It, everything's just going to collapse. I know, I know. Mm -hmm. So aside, aside giving gifts, what other physical things can one do? Spend time. Be affectionate. Have a body language of being affectionate. Mbappe, in semu suso, Mbappe, hugging, Mbappe, no, like kissing or pecks here and there. Or just take a stroll. Take a walk in the neighborhood. Have a decent conversation. Watch a movie together. These things will not cost you money. Emphasis is kind of harder. But just sit and talk. What is the what uh, next year? Be doing up a so we business be up a so we be. Me ko be say so be pesca. Me me say. But you don't feel shy. <laughs> don't feel shy to do that. When we look at Boaz, he was a provider for his home and a wife. A your a man is designed. A, a man is wired to provide for the home. If a man is not doing that, there is a problem. Yeah. If it's a temporary pro problem, a yeti asia because we can help support. But the bad man naturally cannot come up and do that. Then it's there a is serious a problem. problem because sana nyame bomo. Wow, they should provide. Oba yesi oba uskaudi ayi ba unya oba masi dedi kahwa na se se yaba na se se abuna na ka onya me na America. Maureen, in 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 the journey of say yeah try to rekindle love, no. Now, yeah, foster generosity. What are some of the obstacles one can face? Oh, um, well, obviously, from the way our conversation no ends, no. Uh, if there's no vision, um, there's a problem. And also, if, if it, also, if there's no agreement, mm. Sabia is only Obano who is interested in rekindling, there's a problem. It has to be the two of you, both parties must be interested to rekindle, to make the relationship work. So both parties have to care that we want this to work. We want our relationship to be rich. And if there are children, children benefit a lot when uh, a couple are uh, properly connected or meaningfully connected. Um, it brings a lot of emotional stability to the children. First of all, couple, you'll be emotionally stabilized, and, uh, and also it goes down to the children as well. But some of the obstacles I will say is, um, well, what I just mentioned, and also when your priorities are out of place, instead of considering, say, we are your covenant partner, we are interested in giving to everybody else before we hear That is a problem. That is a problem right now. It's an obstacle. It's not going to help to rekindle the, the, the relationship, the love and the relationship. And also some kind of overdue resentment. If you are DPSC, da, 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 you are still holding on to it. Those things will not help you to rekindle or, or, or love relationship. And see, if it's a matter of you maybe apologizing to your spouse and uh, you know, reaffirming to them, reassuring them of your love, and you know the fact that you are, you know, you are, you are worthy of their trust. You need to do it. And on the other hand, so if you are the one who was offended, Nasa also you need to maybe you need to take time to talk about all your feelings, how the whole situation made you feel. Sometimes when you talk things out, now it relieves you. You are okay. I have sometimes our culture has a way to just shut things down, and it's very unhealthy. Most of the sometimes the strange random behaviors I have 
coming out of people is because of that. It's because something was not dealt with in the soul. In the aye a crow a one ipani soul no, aye wound one ipani soul no. In the any slight thing no, na wakwa trigger sadie no. So these can be obstacles. Maybe uh, some resentments be there has been left, you know, um, unattended to. And, you know, your priorities are out of place. Your wife or your husband is your covenant partner. You owe them. You owe them. That's the word. Would your mocha say you, you, you do things for them? You give them emotionally. You give them, whether gifts, emotionally, whatever. You are supposed to do that. You are expected to do that in the eyes of God, especially, right? And so, you know, um, if you don't do that, if you don't have your priorities in place, if you have resentments, if you don't even have a vision or understand the essence of marriage, then you have a problem there. There's an wow. obstacle. You won't be able to, you know, achieve any kind of reignizing in the relationship. You're just going to be there, keke. Oh yeah, yeah, well, okay, keke. I worry, but you know, we are just there. Everybody does whatever they want. There's no true connection. And see, in a marriage like that, it's in a yard, yeah, the children are not fulfilled. You are not fulfilled. Your spouse is not fulfilled. Everybody is just doing anything anyhow. And yes, sir, you do not attract the blessings of God. Sure? The Bible says that where there is unity, God commands his blessings there. That's the scripture. So anytime, think about it, when you and your spouse are properly connected, you are going to attract the blessing of God. And you want that. You need that. And you know, if nothing at all, I think you should sit down and really think about this. Sometimes we don't take time to meditate. We just go through life busy, busy, busy. We need to really think, what do we really want for our marriage? What do we expect? What do, you want, what do we want to gain from it? What, how do we want it to affect our children? You know, if your children are looking at you and they are seeing you do all these great things, connecting properly, what do you think is going to happen to them? I'm also not going to take that into their marriages. And we are going to have a better society eventually because, you know, we, we are replicating something positive. But this other one, yeah, you know, you don't care. Your priorities are all over the place. You don't know what matters. Your wife comes third because you take her for granted because you think, well, I've married her. She's always going to be there. She's my wife. She's supposed to submit. She's there. You know, I'm not you shaking to everybody her head. I'm not, about her. Maureen, I'm not saying I've not said that. I've not said that. I've not can that lead to yes, a divorce? Okay. Yeah. Would you leave your husband because of that? I'm not leaving because of that. But if you don't have a vision, okay, okay like she's saying, you know, mm -hmm. you don't have a vision, you're not willing to work at it, you're not working, you're not doing this, you're not doing that, you're not doing that. First of all, I'll report you to God. Okay. Because he's the designer, the orchestrator, the um, initiator of marriage. Indeed, first of all, is that person your God-given spouse? It starts from the foundation. To be how who worry the wrong person that you struggle, you struggle, you struggle. How do you know this? You won't, from the beginning. You mean how do you know if a person is your husband? Yes. Give me your soul, vampire. That's it. And then say you're free. Oh, I say you're poor. Oh yeah. Who be your biggest mistake of your life? Your destiny will be forestalled. Your children will be delayed, or even if they come, they are not going to be fulfilled, like she said. There's so many things. Oh, a ministry more like she and I are in. Uh, it hinders a lot of things. It's imperative, very important. So, Bawe si so se papa, be me be na wuya mami. Mi future ni, the destiny is here. What is the vision? What is it that you want from me? Who am I supposed to be with? You do not want to marry your enemy. Yeah. Because not to say, because you've already settled and tied a covenant. Wow, that's heavy. Exactly. And she said, What do you want to do? That's it for you. That's it for you. Your star is bright. You, they see a lot of things about you, but somehow you can't move forward. Wow. It starts from the foundation. See, if I say, what worry ni pano? Later, you find out, say, he's not the person. And then, paibona, because God has to step in. If nobody say roommates, we kona we yaba. We kona we yaba. Inti ano no na eya worry. Or say mo bon komo na mo fa plans. There's nothing like that. Or say bi amu save and amu some sikebi and a project be. There's nothing like that. So and then you are not fulfilled. You are not happy. You who wait mu say. 
wo countenance is sad na wutim ne su na hu 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 e chan e just say asimi say is gone but do you think the church is also helping the church is not helping i'm in ministry i love the church i love the pastors i love the bishops and all of that but honestly the church is not helping they are not helping divorced women they are not helping single parents that's one of the things i found out or be a single like especially for the women they are kind of pushed to the side they are kind of um you know they just look down on them to some extent and it doesn't help Sometimes a brofono have a structure in their churches where single parents are helped. If you be a person call out just to watch a movie or something. Okay, for Mbabra, let me help them. So you can go out. Just have some time for yourself. And I said, let me help you with your groceries. Something, there is no structure in churches, especially for divorced women, especially for those who want to be in ministry. The church does not help. And those of us are more worried so. Or mm -hmm. or our mm -hmm. problem is very clear. Mm -hmm. so this is the problem. Like we are, we are saying, or bano, if you are TV, I share who say, hey, na say if we be rekindling of love, mm -hmm. if we be gift, we could maybe be that. Maybe she will start nagging about this. Mm -hmm. It will lead to a whole lot of problems. But more nagging first. On starting with him, Bible. That's why I'm saying, say, <coughs> I, I, in a typical Ghanaian home, or be come and say, and I'll crown to her dear mommy that. It won't bring the solution. for solution. Then anymore. it goes to the church. How did it get to the church? Probably maybe they are fighting over this. Over gifts. Uh -huh. You and want to take your matter to the church because of a gift. I, if, if, oh if, boy. If, if, on this <laughs> original TV butterfly issue, yeah. the issues that comes to us, say, who be able to say, be oh, <laughs> you see, instead of the church to know that this is the problem, let's tackle the problem. Mm -hmm. It will be let's pray. Obama said, I want to ban in a worry. Okay. Oma worry, worry. Oban is your conicle, one nickel horn story. Auntie means now who be, or their brass sorry in pain you for. But there's medical help. That's what I'm saying. Say, so when we look at all these things, mm -hmm. to us, mm -hmm. looking at these things, we feel like the church is not helping. Because there are matters, uh, trust me, and church you can't me here for counseling and my mom. Church mm -hmm. me here medical uh, fee, be mom for okay. medical attention. Church me here can say, okay, this is the problem. Like, but the problem you is so clear. But you shouldn't divorce or leave your husband because of that. Let me, let me, let me put it. Because, say, number one, there is medical help. So what do Nipana is for better, for worse? You've discovered, unless, yes, like you said, Nipana is trying to One country, me. No problem. But do I still love the person? Do I care about the person? If the answer is yes, then I need to stick with you and see that problem through. And you say the least thing I'm about to depart from you. And you say the least thing maybe Jao. Okay. I'm here for forever. Forever. <laughs> so we're gonna work it out forever, right? But we should find the solution. Seek medical help. Okay. That shouldn't be the reason for you to leave. So um Abla, yeah, Brenny, yeah, Brenny. Before I come back to Maureen, I'll come uh -huh. back to you again. In, okay. the, in the church. Yeah. What can the church help do to I help think the church, in the lab? sometimes the church don't want to talk about those sexual problems. And so when the people go to the church, they should be very honest. Okay. And tell, and some of the pastors are getting better at this, that they'll tell you the point, okay, we can deal with a spiritual matter, but maybe this medical help, we can still pray with you, but go see the doctor. doctor. Go do this, go do that, and make maybe some referrals be a beboa. If they have that balanced counseling, it would, it would, it would help. Uh, Maureen, I hope you are there and... And come here, cause you know you are following because you are on Zoom. I don't know. Yeah. The network was okay. Yeah. And see, yeah. Yeah. Born it off and yeah. Sorry, so no, no. We can then love and fostering generosity in this festive season. And worry for a few more, more shaying. The oppressor worry. The only thing yeah be and then our casual more. Um. First of all, so oppressor will worry. You have to start with God. You have to pray because there's no way to know in the next 20 years what's going to happen with you and that person. And to know, definitely, you have to start with your Heavenly Father. You have to be led by the Spirit of God. And because you have to be led, that doesn't mean, say, you know, you also, you're, God is God will always give you what you want and what also He knows that will be best for you. 
And so we will be a one won't worry yet and you're looking to get married don't just go with the physical things mm -hmm. don't just go with uh you know what just whatever you're hearing the person say or what you know the the outward mm -hmm. external in yamana it looking like oh this this looks like it's a comfort this, this looks like it's going to be a comfortable relationship don't look at that you need to go in the spirit and really see god's face about uh what whether you should go with that person and make sure that so, when you share a lot of views you, you share a lot of beliefs like all you know are you marrying somebody who do you want your spouse to say sorry to you when he's offended yeah. you you need to find out all these things you need to find out all these things right <laughs> from the onset you need to have deep conversations another thing that i may not to say i don't know whether i think um uh, in the u.s money and i think I've, the the culture is a little different i find that sometimes in africa no, when someone is in love and really wants to win a partner you know, they tend to lie. That's, that, I mean, sometimes I feel they are not very sincere and they hide certain things. They hide certain things. And that is always a problem because if you hide the truth about who you are, mm -hmm. I'm not going to be able to make a, a good, uh, uh, you know, a good decision on whether you are somebody I should marry or not. And that's where the Holy Spirit comes. And so you need the Holy Spirit to guide you. If you're already married, you absolutely need to rekindle the love. If you don't do that, Listen, I equate marriage to a garden. Oh, a garden. You are not maintaining it. You are leaving it. You are not tending to it. It's going to have, it's going to have unwanted weeds, and it's going to also attract a demonic beasts, okay? So marriage, your marriage or your relationship is a garden that needs maintenance, needs you to tend to it. If you don't do that, you are in trouble. We don't, want to be in trouble. we don't want to be in trouble. We are not going to be no. in trouble. Abda, in the next day, I'm going to be a queen. I'm going to be a queen. Yes, I say. I wish say Nanka Benya America cry, but yes, I'm mommy one minute now. Mommy will last wait because I'm coming here. I'm going to do. Okay, I mean, like I say, our area is a beautiful thing, you know, and I think we should start it off right, inquiring about God to make sure that there's the right person, and then you will have beauty. Our area is and a beautiful was, thing. Is yeah. it for the camera or is it really beautiful? No, it, if you work at it, it okay. is a beautiful thing. Okay. Now, the, the person we can last and say, you know, you are Yesu because we are Christians. We have a marriage with Christ, right? And so the way I be treating Yesu no, as Yekunum, you never sign treaty Yekunum. Okay. What I say? We are married to Christ. We are the bride. The church is the bride of Christ. So the way we relate to God in the sincere, those who are really devoted to him, in the sincere manner, how we honor him, Mema pe honor, respect, and love. How we honor him, no? Yen fa sama ye kunuma. Mi yen shes ye besi. Na yen bisa. Omo de bema yen. Truly, me pacho. No, truly. Uh, very necessary. It is, it is wow. necessary. So, thank you very much, Maureen and yeah. Abna. They are both gospel ministers. I just say, they are really doing well. And I'm so proud of you too. You are, you are very intelligent. And that's why I know you've impacted somebody's life this after, um, morning. Because... And some be brain, of course, uncle for worry. You say, Brain, my acquaint, I may have for college, Anka, maybe Obeka, my young good. Yes, but a brain in you hole, in tea, honey, a day, yen, common, no, a busy. I've been answering, can't you say, and yes, you can give some coin, a year, moon spend the time together, moon bonk, or more monk, or some moon demo, honk, or more. Now, I know so that boy, I'm more done, no, a CP, no, a city. I've now, we've been so rich out to you, a hen or being your own. Um, Ghana, I mean, it been coming, but it on social, social media, media um, Abnabeko yeah. Ministries on Facebook, and as Abnabeko on Facebook, you can reach me there. Okay. Just send me a message and I'll be able to. In Instagram. I'm on Instagram too. Official Abna, Abna, Official Abnabeko. Abna uh, Maureen, also, uh, social media handles. Maybe me on Instagram as Maureen Biniam, M A U R E E N, Biniam, B I N I Y A M. Maureen Biniam on all social platforms. Me will and uh, me, me turn you soon to know me as well, Miss Me turn you, me turn you, me turn you. me follow me on all the okay. digital platforms as well. Okay, okay, okay. In the next thing, I'm going to jump. Now, just say, okay. the idea is, I need a rap on your name. Oh, I'm just saying, bro, your problem no go finish. So you know, I just put everything behind you and then move on. But the most important thing is ask. We shall be giving up. <laughs>
Amen. Amen to that. Amen. We don't even have original TV, the butterfly should be in the Ajoa. I hear no one. A reckoning love and fortune generosity in this festive season. Mumbisa. I'm going to be a mom. I'm going to be a mom.